food in your ice cream. You might understandably think that sounds weird, but this month that is exactly what Salt and Straw is doing. They've worked with local nonprofit Urban Gleaners to find foods to rescue and repurpose into five new flavors. But that got me wondering, what are these leftover ingredients? This is food that for various reasons, one of which is that we have an imperfect food system, is left over. So grocery stores will order food to stock their shelves and sometimes they don't sell everything that they plan on selling. Sometimes the weather changes. Event sites, you plan on a wedding for 150 people and 100 people come. This is perfectly edible, untouched food. No one has eaten it, it has never been served, it's not on anybody's plate. This partnership with Salt and Straw is a little bit different than anything we've ever gotten to do where they came to our warehouse and found ingredients that they thought that they could use to make ice cream. These are cherries from Eastside Distillery, and basically they make a cherry bourbon, but then at the end of it, they've got all these cherries left over. This is whey from a local cheese company, Ancient Heritage Cheese. When they're making their cheese, they've, they're left with this protein water, basically. And so we actually made a whey curd, and called it curds and whey. These are spent grains from Breakside Brewing. Basically, at the end of the day, they're left with all these grains after they steep all the sugar out. They still have a ton of fiber, a ton of nutritional value. We toast these up and almost make like a graham cracker and make a s'mores out of it. This is another ingredient. You can feel this bread is like super stale. And when we worked with uh, Urban Gleaners, at the end of the day, they get hundreds and hundreds of pounds of bread. So we brought the stale bread in and toasted it up and then steeped the cream in that. The world can feel overwhelming at times, but everybody loves ice cream. Yeah. So here we have these five flavors of ice cream and to bring awareness to this issue and maybe we can't solve it, but we can make a big dent in it. Now that issue she's talking about, it sounds crazy, but 40% of food in the U.S. goes to waste. So Urban Gleaners collect some of that here in Portland. They repackage it and then get it to thousands of people who need it. And while Chris takes a scoop of this ice cream, blah, 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 blah. Tracy told me she's hoping it gets people thinking about where those leftovers are going. If you're at the store or out to a restaurant, this is the one with Which that one uh, toasted baguette. So it's stale bread. They wanted even extra stale bread. That's but leftovers. It. it doesn't taste stale, right? Yeah, it does. I will say it does not. <laughs> yeah, it does. Well, okay, it's got the jam <clears throat> in there, the bread. It's not bad, though. I mean, it tastes good. And it leftovers, good. but... Anytime ice cream, when are you going to taste ice cream and say, no, it's not good? It's always good. Boy, that is good. And it has chocolate peanut butter in there. That's mm -hmm. what really pushes it Can't lose, can't lose. Mm -hmm. All right, great, thanks. This is KGW News.